A horse is a domesticated animal since antiquity. He was much used as a war animal in transport. It's thus allowed the birth of civilizations over large spaces and favored the commercial exchanges. The horse is often considered the most important animal in history of mankind. Currently, the horse is found in a variety of activities such as agriculture or transportation in some countries, but also in recreation and sport. A horse is a swift and strong animal. It can easily run long distances. If you look at history, you'll know the important part they played in it due to their loyalty. Moreover, they also helped and saved their masters. A horse is a vegetarian and domestic animal. It's very beneficial as well. Humans make use of horses in a lot of ways. One of them is when they travel or ride on their backs. If we look at the past, we see that they came in use of wars. Soldiers used to go on them in battlefields to fight. In modern times, they have more use in sports because of their great running abilities. They also come in use in games like horse riding and more. After the horse dies, we also use its bones, skin, and hair for making carpets, medicine, and other leather products. Thus, they become a lot of use to humans. To sum it up, a horse is an important part of our ecosystem. We should love and protect them instead of exploiting them for selfish reasons. We must save the animals from the distress they're subjected to, as Johnny did. Johnny's a young man in his 20s. He lives alone. He feels very lonely and isolated as his father and mother died in a tragic accident. Johnny's been living alone for a long time. He can no longer bear to live alone. Johnny went to a psychiatrist to talk to him about his psychological distress. Johnny explained to the doctor the psychological suffering he had because he always felt lonely and isolated from people. Johnny's very touched by that painful feeling. The psychiatrist told him several tips. You should never make yourself lonely. Get to know people, go to the club, do a sport to get to know people. Never make yourself lonely. Johnny decided to do what the doctor told him. Johnny went to the club to play a sport. He saw someone with him at the gym and started talking to him. The person greeted him saying, Hey, my name's Clark. I've been training at that club for four years. Nice to meet you. Johnny's so hilarious that someone talked to him. There was a very interesting conversation between Johnny and Clark. Johnny explained to Clark that he suffers from a psychological crisis due to the death of his father and mother and that he lives alone. Clark sympathized with him. Clark felt relieved to Johnny. Days passed and Johnny and Clark became friends. He tells Johnny that he has a very luxurious farm with horses, buffaloes, and sheep. Johnny's so surprised. He's so excited to see that farm. Clark said to him, You should come to my farm once. You like all the animals. You're going to have a great time, and this will make you feel very much better. Johnny agreed to go to the farm with him. They got into the car and went to the farm. Johnny's so excited. Johnny and Clark entered the farm, and Clark started showing him every place on the farm. They went to the yard where the buffaloes lived. Then the guard came to report something to Clark. Clark told Johnny that he would come to him in ten minutes because there was a problem. Suddenly, something very terrifying and heartbreaking happened. Johnny, standing in front of a huge buffalo, the buffalo tried to attack Johnny. Johnny fell to the ground. The buffalo tried to kick Johnny, but something very strange happened. Suddenly, a horse appeared and made Johnny away from the buffalo. Who would believe that a horse saved a human life? It was very strange. The horse that saved Johnny's life after Johnny was about to die. Johnny ran immediately, coughing and panicked. He was very shocked by what happened. After that, Clark solved the problem and came to Johnny, but he couldn't find him in the same place he left him. He searched for him everywhere on the farm and finally found him standing by the stable of horses. He stands in front of them and contemplates them. Clark noticed that Johnny was very nervous. Johnny told him what had happened, saying, I was about to die. When you left me and went with the guard, the buffalo tried to attack me. I fell to the ground. Suddenly that horse appeared and saved my life. Isn't it weird? Clark said to him, A horse is a very intelligent animal. He did it because he felt you were in danger. The horse is very loyal and can sacrifice to save a human being. As for the horse that saved you, that's a very special horse. That horse I love so much. Johnny was surprised by what happened. He was impressed with the horse. He felt great love for the horses. Johnny thought to buy a stable and raise horses. He spoke to Clark, saying to him, I'm really amazed by what happened. I want to know more about horses. I want to have a stable and keep horses. I'll never forget that a horse is the one who saved my life. Then Clark helped Johnny to practice horse riding. Johnny trains with Clark in the morning every day. They're riding horses and they're having a great time. Clark helped Johnny. He knew everything about horses. Horses eat grass and light green hay. Some vegetables can be given to the horse in limited quantities, such as carrots. A healthy horse needs 19 to 57 liters of clean water per day. Then Clark helped Johnny to buy a stable. Johnny bought a stable and started raising horses. 
Johnny rescues sick horses and rescues horses who are subjected to violence from their owners. Johnny loves animals a lot, especially horses. Johnny created a Facebook page called Together to Save Animals in order to defend the rights of animals and save them from the violence they're exposed to. Johnny's in a very beautiful psychological state. He's no longer alone, no longer depressed, thanks to his friend Clark, who stays with him and teaches him all about horses. One day, Johnny got up in the morning and went to his stable and stayed there for two hours. After that, he went for a walk in the woods to take some photos there. Johnny saw a very strange scene and made him surprised. Johnny saw a lot of people gather about something. He approached them to find out what was happening, but these people didn't answer him. He insisted, What's going on here? I can help you if something happened. One of them replied, Nothing happened. We're just enjoying the beautiful nature here. Thank you. You're a nice person. Johnny felt that something had happened, but that they didn't want to tell him. He kept talking to them so they could tell him, but they didn't say anything. These people didn't say anything to Johnny because they knew he was that guy who had a Facebook page for animal rescue. They did something very tragic, and they were afraid that Johnny would find out what they did. Johnny suspected that they'd done something in the woods, and they were afraid of it because there are signs of fear and tension in their face. Then Johnny left them to search in the woods for any clue that links the events together. As Johnny walks through the woods, he sees a horse moaning in pain. Johnny ran to the horse to save him. He saw a piece of paper affixed to the horse. This horse is going to be slaughtered. Johnny was very shocked at what he saw. He began to link the events together until he reached what happened. He thought these people were the ones who hurt the horse, and then this horse ran away from them. He found that the horse was wounded and had scratches. Johnny immediately called the support team to take the horse to his stable and asked them to bring a vet for that poor horse. After that, Johnny went to the police immediately and told them everything that had happened and that he found a horse with scratches and painful wounds. He also told them where he saw those people who wounded the horse. The people who did this were arrested. One of them justified what he had done by saying, We did it because this horse got old. That horse couldn't win the horse competition, and the prize is supposed to be ours. Johnny replied angrily, You torture this poor horse for your own interests. What cruel people you are. The horse feels pain because of you. You are merciless. Animals are really kinder than humans. These people were punished. Johnny felt he had done justice. He went to his stable and stood beside the horse that had saved his life before and the horse that had himself saved his life. Clark came to Johnny's stable and they had a conversation. Johnny said to him, These horses are precious gifts. This horse saved my life, and today I'm saving the life of another horse. Clark said to him, You're a good man. You deserve every good thing that happens to you. You're kind-hearted. Several months passed and then Johnny married a very beautiful girl named Sarah. They live in love and happiness. This is the end of our story. The story teaches us several morals. We must solve our problems ourselves and try to save animals from the difficult situations we're put in. We must be kind to animals. We must always achieve justice. Well, friends, that's the end of this incredible story. We hope, as always, it's been to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like, leave us your valuable comment, share on your social networks, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video. And in this way, you don't miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us in the next one.